Hello guys, this playlist will be totally dedicated to Turtle, which is absolutely magnificent Python module that will help you to understand movement and angles and coordinate systems, something that will help you a little bit later when you start uh, with your own games. Right, the shapes will be relatively simple, but of course if you know a little bit about mathematical formulas and stuff, you can create wonders. Right, don't worry, there will be no too much mathematic here, just a couple of stuff. And you can randomize pretty much a lot of movement. Anyway, you're probably wondering, okay, here uh, you see some kind of sun, well, what else can I do with Python? Well. Uh, if you press Control F in official Python, I mean Turtle documentation, and if you search for demo on this page, uh, you will see here one line, Python and Turtle demo. So with that line in your terminal, console, DOS, whatever you have, when you run that thing, you will activate uh, around 20 or something examples, graphical interface. So let's do that. I'm gonna type, because I'm, I'm on Windows CMD to get into DOS or call it whatever you like and I'm gonna type exactly that from documentation Python M Turtle Demo Python M Turtle Demo and we're gonna uh, get into Tkinter pretty much here because to work with Turtle you need to have installed Tkinter with Python installation and you probably have that by default right so what about examples do you need to type anything here well no Click here on examples and choose something to see what's up. Byte design, what's that? Okay, bunch of code, you don't need to understand it right now. Let's click on start and there you go, very awesome stuff. So let's click that a couple of times and because source code is not changed, you have the same shape. But that's fine, that's cool. Uh, let's see what else we have. Chaos, so let's run it. There you go guys, very awesome stuff, but also wait for a next pass, because this is about chaos example, see, everything is fine, but at the end you will see a little bit of like difference. So chaos is about difference uh, as time passes, and that's pretty much very awesome field of uh, research, pretty much, I really like that. Okay, what about uh, other things, like a clock, let's run that. There you go. Uh, what about frac fractals? Some people will love that. T try to do this in JavaScript. Yeah, right. And um, paint. We can paint pretty much. Uh, right. So how to act? Oh, right. You need to click on it and then, then you roll all over the place. And there you go. You can have something like MS Paint through Python. Well, at least minimal version. And yeah. Rosette, what's that? Wow, beautiful. And sorting animation, start, you know, bubble sort and all kind of sorts. So press S for selection sort, and there you go, you have a uh, turtle pretty much working. So now you know that you can create pretty much uh, complicated stuff a little bit later when you learn how to do it. Nothing special here, it just need time investment pretty much, so don't be scared. Right, so let's get out from here and let's understand the coordinate system because Turtle is pretty much everything about coordinate system and you probably know this from high school, primary school, whatever. Right, so let's import that model and let's understand a coordinate system and what to do with that. So import turtle and now that's not enough because if you run this stuff, well at least in I'm in idl so I'm gonna press F5, pretty much nothing's gonna happen because we have just model here. So now we need to create our first turtle somewhere on a screen. Okay guys, let's give it some kind of name like T and whatever you use here, it's really not important. It is just abstract name for your first turtle and it is important that you are consistent down there through the code when you change characteristics of that turtle. So T here and T all over the place down there. So let's initialize that turtle with the name T by saying turtle module and uppercase T turtle and don't forget brackets. And this is initialization of your own first turtle with the name T. So let's confirm that. We're gonna say and run our model, which is basically two line script. And there you go, guys. Very simple arrow in the, in the middle of the screen. Well, why arrow? Well, it's 
default okay i don't know why they're using arrow but it's like that so don't worry about that because over time you're gonna learn how to change color of that thing position of course we're gonna do all kind of shapes how to change size of that and how to change shape of that thing because right now we have arrows but over time you're gonna learn how to use many other shapes and sizes and stuff like that so the whole purpose well, let me run that again. The whole purpose of this tutorial is to understand coordinate system, to understand positions. Because see here, this middle of the screen is actually zero, zero in coordinate system. So just imagine that here you have X line and here you have Y line, you know, classical mathematical stuff and cross of that lines is just the start of coordinate system so zero zero so when you go to right we are talking about plus one plus two plus three on x line when we are talking about negative numbers then we have minus one minus two minus three basically you're going to left and also same stuff for y line like here you're gonna have plus one plus two plus three <clears throat> and then down there minus one minus two and blah 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 and actually you know that probably from mathematical classes so same stuff like here now in some programming languages in some modules and in css i think the start of coordinate system when you are doing all kind of sh shapes and stuff is here at the top left corner but this is python this is turtle module and here we start from 0.0, .0 from here Right, so objective in this tutorial will be to move that thing all over the place using coordinate system, using positions. Now, sure, over time we're gonna learn how to change that thing through movement, like go to right for 200 pixels, but it is better idea to grasp movement through coordinates. Like, first we're gonna put our turtle here, and then here, and those lines will be connected so here here down there and down there and back again and then we're gonna paint that imaginary box that we have like imagined right now right so let's do that let's move turtle right here okay the first thing i need to close this okay so how to move well you're gonna target your first two turtle <coughs> And then you're gonna say go to. Why go to? Because it is in documentation actually, and actually there are some other commands that will uh, yield you same results like set pos or set position. You can use these things, but go to is a little bit like short, so it's very easy thing to remember and it's logical and it is so short. So I will use go to, and you can use also these things, right? So so go to, but go to where? where? well go go to uh like 300 pixels on a x uh, line and also 300 pixels on y line basically <coughs> if you look into this system we're gonna first roll here and then we will roll uh, roll from zero to here and then cross of those lines will be around here okay so I'm talking about wiki page, so it's kind of stupid, but in reality, that's what we are going to get in a, in a turtle through Kinter, right? So something like here. So let's run that, run our model. And there you go, we have movement to that position, right? So now we need to push that thing through coordinates, just by stating coordinates. So we are not calculating anything. We're gonna push that thing here. And here, if we look into coordinate system in the center of it, we're gonna have minus 300 for X and plus 300 for Y, that dot here, okay? So let's do that. And again, we need to target T and then go to what I said, uh, minus 300 for X and plus 300 for Y. And uh, let me fix this a bit like that. Okay, so let's run that thing. There you go. So please note, we don't care about 
size of this line we really don't care about that the only thing we care is 0 0 300 300 and so on and so on we care about coordinates about positions guys and not about length of lines we're gonna learn about that too right so let's uh, go down there t dot uh, go to and let me use this as a help so let's say down there will be like minus 300 uh, by x and also minus 300 by y now they are using here minus one minus two minus three but i just think uh, in hundreds like in pixels who cares right so minus three minus three or minus 300 and minus 300 for y okay like that and let me run that okay that's cool and again we don't care about the length of this we just care about positions so now we need to find ourselves here and then back here uh, that means t will go to let me see plus x so plus 300 will be here and also a minus 300 will be down there so when you cross that thing the dot will be here i mean turtle when you interchange those like coordinates so what i said plus 300 for x and for y that is negative that is minus so minus 300 minus 300 and let me test that okay fine and now we need to fire turtle i mean arrow to this thing which is basically beginning which is plus 300 plus 300 because it is in first quadrant this green coordinates okay so of course we have four quadrants uh right what i was talking about right so t go to and plus 300 by x and plus 300 by y so let me run that okay very cool stuff and now you're probably wondering okay that's kind of nice but how i'm going to hide this turtle when i'm done is there any command to do that well sure sure uh it is if i remember correctly hide turtle yeah let me let me check hide yeah hide turtle sure we can use that to make the turtle invisible always use documentation if you're not sure and actually google is full of examples so don't worry about so t is a target again but we are not talking about coordinates we are just hiding that poor thing so hide turtle and run module and when we are done the turtle will disappear awesome okay so how we can you know fill this with some kind of color like light gray or green or who cares well can we do that sure so let's define our color of interest and up here you must do that because yeah these are just coordinates but if you want to fill that thing then first you need to state color so the target will be again t and the color and let me see like a light green light green did i type that correctly right but right now if you run this stuff well pretty much you will just get the line light green but that's not enough you need to fill that space to remove this like a this a starting movement so now we need to use fill of those coordinates of shape between those coordinates so we need to start that thing here and then it down there so this is just guys preparation if you have preparation that doesn't mean that you will fill that shape this is just for a line but now we are going to fill that shape so t dot how well begin fill and now you don't need to state any kind of parameters here because already you have color right here but is that enough well no 
Uh, let me actually test that. It's not enough. And now we need to close operations of filling down there. So t dot end fill. And now the thing will completely work. Hopefully. There you go, guys. Awesome. So now you know how to work with coordinates and how to fill that shape and how to remove turtle. And let me actually change that to some, I don't know, uh, like other color. This is kind of ugly, like full green or, or let's say red. Okay, let me run that. Okay, cool. And what is interesting here? Uh, right, so let's let's create yet another turtle and let's fill that shape with some other color. Sure, we can do that. It's a very easy thing. You can do that without looking the rest of the tutorial for practicing purposes. So I will just like steal this, okay, and I'm gonna put it down there and let's change the name of turtle to like a Z or well, yeah, Z, who cares? z z z and so on and so on so of course if we want to have different shape i mean smaller box then we need to change those like coordinates so let's change that to two because this shape will be smaller and of course we will change uh color let's say i don't know like yellow this one will be ugly but it will work and of course we're gonna hide turtle z turtle hopefully everything will be fine and there you go guys you have solution cool stuff it already looks like a beginning of some kind of game okay guys i think that this tutorial is longer than 10 minutes so we're gonna see each other in next one when we're gonna talk about movements like movement to the left to the right uh how to change angles and stuff like that but we are pretty cool right now because we know how to work with positions so yeah in the next one we're gonna achieve same results through basic movements and angles we will not use positions just full pixel movements right thank you for watching and see you there